welcome to Soundwave TV. We are on the harbour, in fact, right next to the Corn Mushroom Head and Rob Zombie Show. We're here with the boys from Mushroom Head. How are you guys going tonight? Fantastic. Fantastic. It's a pleasure to be here. You have a beautiful harbour. Indeed. <laughs> yes. Cool. Ready so, jump in. So you guys ready to celebrate your 20th anniversary? Absolutely. What, what do you have planned? Uh, we have a new record coming out in May. That's pretty special. Yeah, we're very excited about it. You had a bit of a, a reunion of sorts. Yes, yes. I, ca so, yeah. I came back to the band this year and uh, for the 20 years, and this is the first album with all three singers on it, and it's uh, it's a family reunion. It's pretty Actually, special. We started partying back in October. When <laughs> we started. That's important to get we ready. Had to warm and stuff. up. Yeah, we had to warm up. So Skinny's girlfriend yes. was in the studio recording when you came back to the band. Yes, her name is Jackie LaPanza. She's yeah. in a band called Unsaid Fate, and yeah. she's on the record. And that is the one song we did play tonight. That's a new song. She's it's called We Are the Truth. Yeah, rocking it out yeah. every night. She's, she's doing fantastic. An amazing job. Can you tell us the story of a few songs? Um, no, I was really drunk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, no, there, yeah. a lot, a lot of songs. A lot of it is uh, really personal. Um, unfortunately, we lost um, our original guitar player, and uh, who was basically like a sister of the band, our photographer, also the um, the mother of Skinny's children. And oh so gosh. we put a lot of that into the record. So there's a lot of heart and soul in it, you know, and uh, also a lot of healing in it. What was your experience of sort of putting this together? Quite personal tribute, if you wait. Well, besides the tribute part, this record damn near wrote itself. Yes. Yeah. It told us what to do every time we pressed record. It literally wrote itself, has a mind of its own, it's a monster, it's uncaged, cannot wait to get it out. So what's it like finally being here in Australia? It's amazing. It's yes. absolutely amazing. You guys have a beautiful country. Um, the fans are unbelievable. And uh, we've actually had a lot of people from Australia come to Cleveland to see our band play. So it's it's nice to flip the role because they'll come to uh, up to us at shows and be like, ah, you finally made the flight to come see us, you know? And that flight's no joke. No, no. <laughs> oh. You guys have some pretty devoted fans out there. What's the craziest thing they've ever done? Um, well, there's a lot of tattoos, yeah. like, yeah. you know, because, like, that's that's for life, you know? The tats so, and the makeup, I mean, they show up, and, I mean, our fans are rabid. We'll yeah, sign yeah. them, and they'll have it be tattooed on, on them, like Jay's signature, Skinny's and mine, and Jeff's, and it's like, wow, you are a crazy fuck. But it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Can you tell us the story of your masks? Um, the mask, yes. Uh, David Greyhouse yeah. uh, and uh, well, helped to put these together right here yeah. and this one right here. And uh, uh, and he was actually on uh, Sci-Fi's Face Off and uh, put these together. We helped design and he makes them. We had to go through the uh, the head cast and all that. And it's, it's a nightmare because if you've got claustrophobia, it's not going to work for you. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, it, the cool thing about the mask is once you put it on, you're in your own personal clubhouse. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, it's like, like you, a mask parade party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it totally is. So what did you miss the most about J-Man? Uh, I never got to work with Jay, and so it was like I opened up with uh, for Jay yeah. when he was in the band, yeah. and then him coming, it was just so awesome because I always respected him, yeah. and, and it was like we've always respected each other. It was yeah. always respect. there was a lot of confusion, you know, on yeah. message boards and things like that, but we've always respected each other, and now the opportunity to work together has yeah. just been unbelievable. It's been a dream come true. He's he's, he's been like a big brother. We rooming together. It's like, well, then get up, yeah. come go. You know, it's yeah. awesome. It's amazing. Like Skinny said too earlier, the the record wrote itself initially. Skinny was like, well, can you come back with the 20 years? We're doing a new record. Can you be on two or three songs? Yeah. We started working on the record, and at one point, I looked up and I said, how many songs am I on? And it was like, well, all of them? And that's when it was like, <laughs> you're back in the band. And I was like, all right. What's my <laughs> special one to you? Uh, on the record? Yeah. Uh, there's a song called Righteous that was actually um, pre is pretty much for our guitar player, yeah, JJ yeah, Righteous, that yeah, passed yeah, yeah. it for me. Well, it's not called Righteous on the record, but we call it Righteous. It's like an internal thing. But yeah. the name of the record is called The Righteous and the Butterfly. His name was Righteous, and Vanessa was always the butterfly to us. So this is like our tribute to them and uh, getting back to cathartic, you know? Yeah. So have you guys been hanging out with many of the other bands in the tour at all? Trying to. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, Korn just now, they, they're fantastic, really generous, and it's just, it, it's great to have the opportunity to play with them on these side waves. Yeah. And then uh, tons of bands, like, we, we've been doing this a long time, 20 years, yeah. so a lot of the bands on the sound wave, we've had a rapport with. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like a bit of a reunion unto itself. I saw Clutch yesterday, yeah. they were Dude, phenomenal. Um, yeah. Skinny's a big Skindred fan. Yeah. Um, 
you know, maybe it's the name. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they rock. But no, there, they there's rock. tons of great bands. Dillinger Escape Plan was fantastic. Down. Testament was Down fantastic. Was Down, yeah, like, Down you know, was great. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's just an honor to even be included in in that group of names and to share Alice stages. Alice Chains. Yeah. Alice oh. is phenomenal. Yes. So um, yeah, we're we're like little kids here. You know, just yeah. like you know, it's honored. like trying to run to yeah. each stage to see a band right. for like five minutes because you got to. And run I didn't have to buy a ticket. Like I was invited here. You know, so that's awesome. No, there is a lot of talk about your band you know like on the internet you know mm -hmm. there's a lot of people really active mm -hmm. is there anything you want to set the record straight about um, I don't hate Jay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of people thought we didn't get along, and a lot of people think we don't like Slipknot. And I absolutely respect Slipknot. Yes. I think yeah. they're a fantastic band. Skinny and I actually have a side project that we worked with Sid from Slipknot a little bit on. Yeah. So that's definitely something that just needs to go away. It's been around too long. People just need to chill. Exactly. There's a lot of peace and love, really. In Music's the music. World. Right. Yeah. There really is. Yeah. It's a, small, yeah. it's a small community. It's much smaller than Especially, people think. Yeah, the, the more years you do it, you realize that these people are lifers. And, and even if you're not a fan of like maybe like their music or something like that, you respect them for the heart they put into it, the years, the sacrifice. Because as a band member, you know what it takes to do this. Away and it's a home. lot of sacrifice. And if I can just add, artists love artists. Yes. And we can tell the difference if yeah. you're bullshitting us or not. Yeah. So <laughs> we know. And so does the fans. Yeah. So thank you, all you guys that love us. This is J-Man. This is Skinny from Mushroomhead. And you're watching Soundwave TV. Yeah! It's a fire. Hi, and welcome to Soundwave TV. This is a special Sidewave edition. We are on Sydney Harbour, in fact, right next to the Rob Zombie, Mushroomhead, and Corn Sideshow. And we've got Jackie of Unsaid Fate, who's joined the band tonight on stage from We Are The Truth. Yes. Yeah. So what, what was it like, and how did this all come together? Um, we've yeah. kind of been um, working together for quite a few years just I'm helping out with different things with these guys and I met them quite a few years ago working on my own band and uh, they asked if I'd jump on the album and do some stuff and I jumped on and then I got the offer to come to Australia and I was like mm, obviously I want to go to Australia get out of the snow and get in some sunshine so you guys have been together a long time how'd you meet in the studio um well he uh, approached me to record some of my music a decade ago. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he gave me his number in blue crayon. <laughs> no, but uh, we uh, started working together in 2004 on my album and uh, just kind of worked. Oh, what's happening in your band at the moment? We just finished a new album. We just got off a tour with these guys in December, hoping to do something in the spring. Um, put out, brought out some singles out here for you guys to have. Australians are like the most appreciative fans I think I've ever met. They, like seriously, this is my first time overseas, period. I've never been to another country other than Canada. I don't really think that counts. But uh, this to me is, this heartwarming, this is like, wow, you know, I've never left America, and first place I've ever got to play overseas is Australia, so to me is, I'll never forget this for the rest of my life. The people are so nice, you guys, what is wrong, what's wrong, everybody's so mean, and you guys are so wonderful, you're so nice and just open, and you guys are very honest, there's no bullshit, if you're cool, you're cool, if you suck, you suck, and you guys let everyone know that, and thank God we're cool, supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> Australians really call it how it is. I think the, yeah, the, new yeah, song. the new one. Well, I would say the new song, <laughs> definitely the new song, We Are The Truth. The second would be, uh, I would have to say, The Dream Is Over. Yeah. Very close second, we get out in the crowd and, and we try to yeah. really interact and it just, like, because we come off of doing We Are The Truth to that and it's the energy's already up and it's just boom and it's amazing. You guys are kind of performing material from not your era, essentially, on this tour. Yes. Is that correct? What's that been like? It, it's fine. It's Mushroomhead, you know. I've got a, I've got chapters of Mushroomhead. Uh, they, I mean, it's 20 years of chapters, you know, of Mushroomhead, and it's amazing. I get to do the, uh, the new song, but we get to fall back, and we've never been here, so we need to play all the older stuff. Mushroomhead, Soundwave TV. Thank Soundwave so TV! Yeah. Thank you, Soundwave TV.